I got this in the mail two days ago and I used everything in me not to open it until we could do it together, so. <gasps> Oh my god, wow, she's a fake girl. How are less by Lauren Roberts? I mean, if you've clicked on this video, either you're just one of my fans. <laughs> I'm joking. But either you just want to watch me read around the book or you know about this book, you know about Lauren. I think she's like 20 at this point. She kind of posted a bit about her journey writing her book as she was writing the book. She has like the best personality. She seems like an incredible person. And honestly, she's read snippets of this book and I think she's proven herself to be an incredible writer as well. And I've been following her for like a year and a half. So to finally have have this book in my hands is crazy and I can't imagine how it feels for her. So this book, it's a YA fantasy enemies to lovers. She like has been marketing it as the love child of like Red Queen and the Hunger Games except the baby looks like Night of the Parents. From what I know, it's about this world in which there are people with powers and people who don't because there was this plague. It left some people with powers and some people with nothing. And obviously the people will use anything to discriminate one another. So the ordinaries, the people who have no powers are just like the lower caste of society. We don't like them. They're trying to cast them out. It's a bad thing. You can get like killed, imprisoned, whatever, bad things. And our main character, Peyton, is an Ordinary, but to survive in this world, she has been pretending to... I don't know what she's been pretending to be. And then I guess our morally gray character is part of the royalty. I should have maybe read the book. <laughs> His power apparently is to be able to tell everyone's power. So when our Miss Peyton is forced to be thrown into that world, she's like in danger, maybe, possibly, so. I recently got a Kindle, so I'm gonna alter between these two babies. Let's do this. Okay, so I just got that our main guy, Kai, the way he's like related to the royal family is because he's the son of the king. He's a prince, he has an older brother. Also, it was very obvious for me from like the first few pages that it's YA, which I haven't read YA fantasy in a little while, so I didn't expect for it to be like such a whiplash. But I, it's okay, like, I got used to it. Only thing is, it used like cuss words, but it's not very vulgar, but like bitchy Blair, or like they said bullshit earlier, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I had claws, but I'm back. This book is like quite literally heavy. I feel like reading on my Kindle. I got it recently, that's why I'm like obsessed with her. I call her Kinney, but I don't know how long that name's gonna last. You know who she reminds me of? Kaz. Not Kaz. Kazi. She reminds me of Kazi from Dance of Thieves. Just because she's like a thief. I don't know, they give off the same energy. But also, I'm at like page one. <laughs> I love her writing. Have to do. This is my favorite song, guys. You still can't call me. Okay, I'm gonna stop. So basically, right now, what's happening? Wait, I don't even know where I am. Nothing is really happening. It's just setting up. Her like ability is psychic. She pretends to be a psychic, but she really just is super observant. That's one of the details I was forgetting earlier. I'm literally terrified, scratched out about nothing important happening. I think something's about to happen. I'm, the candles are already dirty. His eyes are the color of thunder clouds settling over Ilya. Of smoke puffing from the chimneys overhead of the stolen silver coins clenched in my fist. <laughs> okay, this is too much for me. <laughs> they're meeting, they're meeting, they're meeting. We're having not a moment, but uh, an interaction. I'm already in love. What is happening? Also, 
it's just a thing that he does to like walk around naked <laughs> not naked <laughs> my mind is going a little too far he just doesn't wear shirts sometimes it's just like a thing that he does oh my gosh this is too much for me I'm at page 68, I've just been reading and we finally got to like the end of the blurb, if that makes sense. Like this was the blurb, which means that the last thing that happened is she just learned that she's gonna be in the purging trials. If you know about the Hunger Games, it's like <laughs> she volunteered as tribute, but she really didn't. She's just going to the games. I might start sounding very freaking vague from here on now because there's only so much I can say, but I just, they're both so hot. <laughs> In short, I've been torturing this man for hours. Okay, got it. Did they just say that the king chuckled? The king. The king chuckled. <laughs> okay, I read too quickly. The king didn't chuckle. Future me. <laughs> just a little bit of context. Between this past clip and the next one, I went back to my hometown and I was staying at my parents' house, hanging out with the family. So that is why the environment changes for a little while. Anifa. Anifa. They're having a moment. No. Oh my god. No. no. Oh my god. Don't even. They're having a moment. No, they are having a moment. They're having a moment. <laughs> Okay, look. this is a lot. I said relevant moments. What I don't understand is why we are saying that Kai is a morally great character. So basically I was just saying, I don't understand why this is marketed as a romance between like a morally great character and like this fearless baddie girl. I do feel like Peyton fits in the fearless baddie girl, but although his job forces him to do like bad things it's his job that forces him like he's not enjoying it yes so what if he's the devil rick at least the devil has a job at least he's active in the community and the way he behaves outside of that is quite nice like he's a sweet person he's just cocky i don't know is it morally gray or is it just like a very light 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 shade of gray oh my god no I think I know what's gonna happen. So I have 4% left. It's a fight between, the, but I feel like we're gonna learn that, which is gonna be horrific. Ah, I'm like shaking. Okay, I just finished the book. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay, so I finished Powerless and I'm ready to talk about it. Basically, the story is about the society in which there are ordinaries and elites, people with powers and people without powers. There was like a plague a few years back. The people who don't have any powers, as always, are shunned from society. They are, you know, killed and persecuted, and it's just a whole thing. Two main characters, we have Peyton, who is an ordinary posing as an elite. She's trained ever since she was super young to be super observant, and so she poses as a psychic and then there's kai who is a prince he's the second son of the king of Ilya, which is the province kingdom whatever and they unexpectedly meet which makes her known to the eyes of Ilya. and to like reward her they make her go to this trial in which kai is going to be there the trials are like practically the hunger games but like different she's just brought to the kingdom and she just has to fight against these people who have actual powers and like the politics takes she's obviously an ordinary she has like trauma whatever it's just like a lot and it felt like the trials were not like very specific like i didn't really understand what the point of them were the book was very lengthy it was hard for me to like get through it was hard for me to get like engaged with at times i loved the relationship between the two main characters but it wasn't an enemies to lovers as i feel like it was promoted as. I don't feel like the main character was so morally gray either. And yeah, those are kind of my critiques. I have like other very specific things, I guess, but they're not very relevant to this review. I'm talking really fast because I need to go, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy reading this book with me. I will see each other in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, future me again. This next part is spoilers. Just little thoughts, critiques that I had throughout the video that were just like spoiler-ish. So if you haven't read the book or if you're planning on reading it, don't watch. 
Now my prediction is for how long? How long is he just gonna be a prince forever? Cause... Okay, so we're learning that Hayden's dad was an elite. Her mom was an ordinary. She doesn't have any power or so she fuck. Thanks! <laughs> Me and my predictions. Get ready for that. Mata Oh my god, no. I think I know what's gonna happen. So I have 4% left. It's a fight between the king and Peyton. And she's like, you killed my dad. <laughs> but I feel like we're gonna learn that Kai is in fact the one that killed him, which is gonna be horrific. Also, I'm looking back at my notes and I'm seeing that I had a theory about Lenny constantly calling her princess. Lenny is like the guard that is also like a part of like this whole group alliance that's gonna lead the revolution. <laughs> And I was like, okay, why does he keep calling her princess? Am I supposed to see something deeper within that? Like, because they constantly make mention of it, if I'm not mistaken. And she's like, why do you guys call me princess? I actually think the king is really hot, but I don't want a love triangle between the two brothers. Like, I can't. I can't take it, okay? I love triangles between brothers are f***ing horrendous to me. I can't. I am more willing. <laughs> I am more... <laughs> Am I okay? I am more than willing to rip your dresses for you, Gray. <laughs> to help, of course. You only need to ask. He is gonna be ripped enough. I'm gonna like violently sob. I'll never deny myself the chance of watching you watch me. 